Good morning. It's quarter to two on Sunday. I haven't started the vlog yet, but starting it now. Mark and I are about to film some superhuman fitness videos. He is over there. He's come over to help me film. I'm gonna do some leg banding and other fun stuff. So that's the plan. I'll see you after. This is also really dirty. Then it's here. Hey. This vlog has not been very much yet. It's okay. just been me saying, yo, good yeah. morning. Uh, it's not the morning. Good and afternoon. I filmed Superhuman Fitness and now when it's over, Mark is off and I have a band tied around my legs. It's been another chill hangout day. Hi vlog. Aww. Hi friends. Hi, I know. Hi everybody. <laughs> Caitlin just painted. <laughs> The most I did. Amazing. I got so inspired. This painting I've been picturing a wave for the Send longest time. Show, show Wait, but before we do, did There's a link on Laura last night. night that was about a tsunami. It was like so galactic cool. storm tsunami. It was amazing. I had dreamt of a tsunami. It was a crazy Whoa. dream. This like swarm, like thousands and thousands upon thousands of like seagulls. Remember we saw the seagull? Yeah. Well, like, no, it's here. Swarmed right. See, this like yeah. city, like fortress island, sunk it. And then it caused this huge tsunami that we had to like go and like get away from. Kate, she had a dream. She was in a huge tsunami with her brother and he was freaking out, but she was like, no, just dive under. Whoa. So, and I've had this painting that's kind of like been sure, just sure, unfinished. Sure, sure, sure. And, um, and I have been picturing a wave for the longest that time. That is absolutely And, and I finally painted gorgeous. it today. It just popped right out. Can I buy it off you? Like a little, no. Oh. <laughs> you can buy a copy. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I want one. <laughs> and I just did my very first Facebook Live. Which was awesome. Which was amazing. I just did like a hundred links. No, make 50, about 50 links, just I think. Just popped them out. We were just like... And she was popping those out while I was painting. Just, just popping them out one by one. Pop, 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 pop. It just felt so nice because I was just on the Holy Shift group last night and everyone posting and people having like challenges I'm like I know I can help I know just a little bit of connection like it doesn't take much mm -hmm. little link a little mm -hmm. thing and like whole reality I love how can everybody change. like somehow can just pop up like it was amazing was everyone yeah. was there I know on a like Sunday afternoon I know I yeah. saw it and I was like hey I'll check it out it was so cool yeah. and it was just like a, a linkathon Linkathon. I haven't actually been in the garden yet today. I but then I got a really bad headache. That's so I weird. Need to drink Let's more water. See what you need. I need water. I don't know how to make this go away. It's like playing on my phone. I keep hitting done and it's like won't go away. Wakes you myself. How do you make it go away? It's like frozen on my phone. I don't know. That's weird. Look, nothing. <laughs> do I have to save it? Is that why? No. I don't know. Stuck. Ooh. I was just telling Caitlin, I just said I should have vlogged that whole conversation, but I was telling Laura that I, you know, I'm doing the 21 day beach body workout superhuman fitness challenge, thanks to Blue. She set that forth. And today I did day two. Of, and it was one that Laura had like talked to me and like cued me about. And last, and this was what, I mean, two months ago mm -hmm. or something, right? And last time I did it, like I remember just being like, ah, oh, no, I'm not that into this, and it's not really working my body out, and I don't know. But like, it's like I wasn't really doing it, I don't think, right. because today I was doing it and I was like, oh, and I could feel like, I don't know, I could feel the nuances and the muscles, I could feel more the control, like by doing it very slow and controlled and like mm -hmm. focused, mm -hmm. like you get like the really fine mm -hmm. parts and the muscles. Mm -hmm. And it was like a breakthrough. And I had it yesterday at ballet too, I was telling Laura. Oh, cool. Like like by doing the banding and stuff, like going back to ballet, because I haven't been back there in two right. months since the day right. I got the apartment. It was like, I felt that much more like in my, Hip totally. joints and like with posture and like the you know the controlled movements. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And then what made it extra cool was I was like, well, today when I filmed the leg banding workout, it's like I was talking to Caitlin, not just Caitlin. It's like I can see everyone in the room, and I talked about like the how you're doing it because you can like go through the motion. But if you're not present and really seeing it or you're moving too quickly or like just a subtle shift in like where your pelvis is or like, mm -hmm. you know, if you're kind of like hanging off your supporting leg, 
you, you won't feel it and it's like, ah, oh, this isn't working. But as soon as you can get to that next level of presence, everything changes. A lot of people were like, or I you know, feel like a lot of people have been like asking about like tension and hip flexors. But so much of that is simply created from non-presence. It's like when you're not really doing it with that awareness, it's easy to kind of just strain yourself rather than actually working out in the way that your body wants, you know, like strengthening how your body really wants to move. Mm -hmm. Which again is that like alignment thing, which is why like ballet is so helpful mm -hmm. because you can't cheat it and it's like that awareness of the alignment. Cause like, you know, you can like just move around and that's cool, but like to find the presence and that where am I moving from awareness and then take it into all sorts of movement. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh On some kind of like cosmic level, it just feels like we're about to hit another big wave, hence right? the wave things. I know. Like totally. a big like a really big one. And like right. potentially the like getting close to like birthing ourselves like the way we've been visioning forever. Like I don't know. No, I know it just feels like too. such a time to get present mm -hmm. and, and like settle ourselves and get in our bodies and do all the things we know how to do to ground ourselves and like to totally. be here because it feels like this wave coming through is like, it's a big one. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Hi guys, it's Laura sitting on the stairs time. Today is over. I haven't left the house other than being in the garden. I spent an hour 15 or an hour 20 or some time um, doing links with everyone in our Holy Shift group on the Facebook Live and that was so cool. And then I've just been pottering around the house and doing some filming and like little bits and pieces. So there hasn't been like super duper adventurous day or anything even though I did want to fly the drone but I'm not going to fly it from my back garden or my front garden anymore. And I guess I could have gone to the roof but I was too late. Anyway, today has been a chill home day. I know I haven't filmed that much, but I hope that you've enjoyed what it has been. And tomorrow is July 4th, which is Independence Day, I think. What I do know is it's gonna be fun time. So we've got some people coming over, some of you guys, some of you who hang out on YouTube with me, and I'm gonna go to ballet in the morning. It's gonna be a fun day. I have a good feeling about tomorrow. It's going to be a fun one, a fun day, and a fun vlog. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Night, night. Bye.